Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a Theros Beyond Death Deck Builders Toolkit. So this just came out today, so it is the 24th of January 2020. So let's see what we get here. Four 15 card booster packs, 100 basic lands, deck builders guide, 125 cards from recent sets, and of course the reusable card storage box. The Deck Builders Toolkit puts 285 cards at your disposal with everything you need to create multiple magic decks. Okay, so these actually, I think are a pretty decent product. I hope they've done just as well this year. So the last one we took a look at was the Corset 2020 Deck Builders Toolkit. So I'll pop a link up in the corner there, you can check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, so they did a great job last year. So let's see what goodies we've got in here. Okay, so Theros Beyond Death, Throne of Eldraine, Core 2020, War of the Spark. Okay, so nice collection of packs. So we'll do them, I'd say that order, pop that over there. We've got a Deck Builder's Guide, we'll take a look at that in a moment. What else we got? So, we've got a bunch of lands, I think. Some more cards, we're gonna go through everything here. So you'll see what you get for your money, and they go for about 20 bucks each. So I would say these are great if you're just starting with Magic, you've maybe um, got one of those Planeswalker decks, and you're looking to start building paper decks, and actually a couple of um, people at the local game store a while back had these, and they were actually getting started with their deck building, so that was pretty cool. Helping them out with the first steps. Okay, so land pack. What do you get here? Okay, so you do get non-basics as well. Okay, let's go through these. So swamp, it will increase the lighting a tad. It's sometimes a bit dull. Okay, we've got Thornwood Falls, enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. You can tap it for green or blue. So we've got the basic lands, it's just a plain swamp. Then you've got things non-basics that have a few extra abilities. Windscarred Crag, enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it for red or white. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Okay, so that gives you a bit of a benefit there. Jungle Hollow. Uh, enters tapped, when it enters the battlefield you gain one life, you can tap it for black or green. Entering tapped is the downside, you'll find the more expensive rare lands often enter untapped. Or you pay two life, so that's like a shock land. Swiftwater Cliffs enters the battlefield tapped, so you can tap it for blue or red. Scour Barrens, white or black, so these are all giving you one life when they enter the battlefield. We'll get some islands, whole bunch of those. Oh, hello. They've put a bunch of other stuff. Okay, I'm glad I went through these and didn't just think they were lands. Okay, so they have distributed stuff all through here. So that is very curious. Okay, next up we have Unknown Shores. That's the land, you can tap it for colorless mana. So that's what that symbol means. Pay one, tap, add one mana of any color. So, decent for mana fixing, heraldic banner artifact, as it enters the battlefield, choose a color, creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one plus zero, add one mana of the chosen color when you tap, bronze sword, equip creature gets plus two plus zero, equip it for three, jousting dummy gets plus one plus zero until end of turn, if you pay three, traveler's amulet, artifact for one, pay one, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. So you get a couple of those. Okay, so you get a nice assortment of cards here. Inspiring Veteran Creature Human Knight 222. Other knights you control get plus one plus one. So you could probably build a knight deck. We'll keep an eye out for other knights. Wanda Mare, Creature Horse 33 for three. Whenever you cast a creature spell that has an adventure, put a plus one plus one counter on Wanda Mare. So it doesn't have to have gone on adventure first. So adventure is a mechanic from Throne of Eldraine, which is one of these sets here we'll be taking a look at. Improbable Alliance Enchantment for two. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token with flying. And for, what is that, four and a blue and red, draw a card, then discard a card. 
So a couple of those guys. Wintermore Commander, here we go. Creature Human Knight. Two star for two. What on earth does that mean? Death Touch, okay. It's toughness, which is that second number, is equal to the number of knights you control. And whenever it attacks another target knight you control gains indestructible until end of turn. Nice. Okay, then we got some planes chucked in the middle here, just random planes. I guess they want you to sort through the cards, get that experience, because that's what you'll be doing a lot of if you're trying to build a deck. Two unveiled tree folk, creature tree folk druid. 6-5 for 6, so the adventure portion here, you can cast that as a sorcery adventure as Oaken Boon, 3 in green, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target creature then exile this card, you may cast the creature later from exile so you do that first, then you get the creature later, so that is pretty handy Garenbrig Carver, creature human warrior, 3-2 for 4 so it has shields might, 1 and a green, it's an adventure target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 into end of turn and you can see the symbol there, a lot of these are from Throne of Eldraine, so that's where you'll see the set symbol. Curious Pair, Creature, Human, Peasant, Treats to Share, what is this green sorcery adventure? Create a food token, ooh, to which I say, Oko, and everybody, or uh, Cat Oven Combo, and people go, ooh, so one, three, for two, right, Rose Thorn Acolyte, Creature, Elf, Druid, two, three, for three, with... Seasonal Ritual, a green sorcery adventure. Add one mana of any color. You can tap it, add one mana of any color. Beanstalk Giant, creature giant, star star for seven. So here's four, fertile footsteps, two and a green sorcery adventure. Search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. And the creature portion over here, his power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. All right, Flexen Intruder. Creature Human Berserker, 1, 2 for a single green. Welcome Home, 5 and 2 green. So Sorcery Adventure, create 3, 2, 2 green bear creature tokens. Alright. And when it deals combat damage to a player, you may sack it. When you do, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. Okay, so we've got the Tree Folk again, the Carver again. Curious Pair, Acolyte. Sir Farron the Hengehammer. Oh, and that's another thing I should point out. So if it's just a plain black symbol, that's a common. Now we have an uncommon here, the silver legendary creature, Human Knight, 2-2 two, two for 2. And whenever it attacks, another target attacking creature gets plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is Sir Farron's power. Okay, so I'm glad they're giving you more than one of each card, because a lot of decks you'll typically have um, up to four cards of the same type. Uh, there is something to keep in mind though with that Sir Farron, he's a legendary creature, there's a legendary rule where you can't have two of the same legendary on the battlefield at the same time, so one will go to the graveyard. Okay, next up we have a Tree Shaker Chimera, Creature Chimera 8547, so this is one of the new guys, uh, Theros Beyond Death symbol there, all creatures able to block Tree Shaker Chimera do so. When it dies, draw three cards, all right. Terror of Mount Velus, Creature Dragon, 5-5-4-7 five, five, with flying and double strike. When it enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain, double strike until end of turn. And this one, actually these two are rares, you can tell by the gold color there. Demon of Loathing, Creature Demon, 7-7-4-7 seven, 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 with flying and trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player sacks a creature. Getting a ton of rares, okay, that's pretty cool. Serpent of Yawning Depths, Enchantment Creature Serpent, 664, six, 6 mana, Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. You control can't be blocked except by Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. That's pretty funny. Victory's Envoy, Creature Human Cleric, 3-3 three, three for 5. Beginning of your upkeep, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each other creature you control. Okay, and uh, we'll speed things up a bit now, so we'll pay closer attention to the rares. If you want to read these, you can pause the video. So we've got Glimpse of Freedom, Fairy Vandal, and of course I'll point out any other noteworthy cards. Charm Sleep, Sea God Scorn, Hypnotic Sprite, Witching Well, Caliphae Beloved of the Sea, so Legendary Enchantment Creature, Demigod, so that's a new thing for Theros Beyond Death, Mysterious Pathlighter, Shepherd of the Flock, Lonesome Unicorn, Silver Flame Squire, and 
I've got a mountain, so we're going to get a ton of mountains here for your deck building needs. All right, so put them over there. Uh, what else we got? Memory Theft, Reeve Soul, a couple of those guys. Order of Midnight, you'll notice some cards. So this is a regular uh, version of this card. There's also a showcase version. It has a special border and different artwork. You might have seen that on the channel before with the big uh, raven, I think it is there, with the lamp hanging down, so that's pretty cool. Falmire Knight, Lockthrain Paladin, and that's actually something they introduced in Throne of Eldraine. They've continued that on through Theros Beyond Death. Smitten Swordmaster, Underworld Charger, Farika's Spawn, Grey Merchant of Asphodel. This is a noteworthy card, also known as Gary, Creature Zombie 2 4 for 5. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black. You gain life equal to the life loss this way. So the devotion mechanic is in Theros Beyond Death, also the original Theros block. So each black in the mana cost of permanence you control counts toward your devotion to black. Barrow Witches! Alright, and Forests. And just watch out, if we see any goblins, you will know where my true love lies in this game. Okay, what else we have? Nessian Wanderer. Tall as a beanstalk. Renata called to the hunt. So another legendary enchantment creature. So that is both a creature and an enchantment. Bloodhaze Wolverine. And I'm pretty sure Hugh Jackman's in there somewhere. Scorching Dragonfire. Merchant of the Vale. And another Wolverine. I wish he would come back, sir. Please. Except, yeah, that would be a bit hard if you saw Logan. Burning Yard Trainer. Spoiler. Okay, Ogre Errant. Raging Red Cap Creature Goblin Knight. One, two for three with double strike. Fantastic. And a Weaselback Red Cap Creature Goblin Knight. One, one for a single red. Pay one and a red. It gets plus two, plus zero and two end of turn. So, Goblins, yes. Fantastic creatures. And you could probably get a decent start for a Goblin deck here. And this is the part where I have trouble <laughs> opening these. So there is like a little slit on the back. You've got to peel that. There we go. All right. So next up, what do we got? Scorching Dragon Fire. So instant. Rimrock Knight. Slaying Fire. Thrill of Possibility. So these ones take effect immediately. Sorceries you can only play on your main phases. Claim the Firstborn. Fling! Anax Hardened in the Forge, a legendary enchantment creature. So another one of those. Blight Breath, Katobalpa, Funeral Rites, Bake into a Pie. And then we get a whole, oh, we get a couple of swamps, okay. And a bunch of forests. Alright, these are just basics, nothing too exciting there. And what else? Bacon to a pie. So we saw that. Timeret chosen from death. Another legendary enchantment creature. Thirst for meaning. <clears throat> Mantle of tides. So tiny. Unexplained vision. Fairy vandal. Tome raider. Let's get some focus there, please. Opt. Still gaze griffin. Another tome raider. Okay, here's the swamps. I was wondering where those are. Oh, just a couple. Not sure what's up with that. Mountains and yes, more knights. So we've got a venerable knight. Inspiring veteran. Okay, so they're clearly pushing you towards building a knight deck here, I think. Ardenvale Paladin, Ardenvale Tactician, Reverent Hoplite, Daybreak Chimera, Banishing Light. So Alan the Lion's Claw, another venerable knight trapped in the tower. Daxos, blessed by the sun, legendary enchantment creature, demigod. All right, so there's another thing. Okay, let's crack a pack before we go on to the final thing there. Actually, we'll crack a couple of packs and we'll leave two more to the end. So this is all part of the fun. You can supplement any decks you build with what's in the packs. That's part of the fun of the deck building. We've got Seven Dwarves, Fairy Guide Mother, Runaway Together, Emberith Paladin, Garenbrig Squire, Smitten Swordmaster, Jousting Dummy, Out Muscle, 
Blow your house down. Bake into a pie. So we've got another one of those. Claim the firstborn. We saw that. Okay, so that's an uncommon. Shine Chaser, Archon of Absolution, and a Mythic. Yes, this is a fantastic pull. Questing Beast. The are a creature beast 4-4 four, for four, four with Vigilance, Death Touch, and Haste. It can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Combat damage that will be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. And whenever Questing Beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker that player controls. And the Mythics have the lovely orange colour there. Fantastic pull, an island and a bit of an ad for MTG Arena. Let's crack one more pack and not to forget we'll take a look at the Deck Builder's Guide later in the video. Okay, so War of the Spark. What do we have here? We got a Naga Eternal, Raging Crunch, Battlefield Promotion, Courage in Crisis, Soren's Thirst, Centaur, Nurturer, and Iron Bully, Erratic Visionary, Enforcer Griffin, Lazatep Reaver, and Uncommon Cyclops, Electromancer, Eternal Taskmaster, Zhang Yangu, Wildcrafter. So if you're familiar with the Planeswalker decks, this is a Planeswalker, except this one doesn't have any plus ones. So War of the Spark, they actually had every single pack had a Planeswalker. Craziness. So tons of Planeswalkers. And another mythic. What are the chances? Finale of Devastation. Sorcery for X and two green. Search your library and or graveyard for a creature card with command mana cost X or less. Put it onto battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. If X is 10 or more creatures you control, get plus X plus X and gain haste until end of turn. We are doing very nicely today. Island and a zombie army token. All right. So let's crack these two later. Um, we'll do that after we go through the deck builder's guide. I'm very curious uh, if that's as good as the one from last year. So the core 2020 version. Okay, we got Blossoming Sands. So another one of these dual lands. Enters tap. When it enters battlefield, you gain one life. Tap it for green or white. Here, okay. One swamp. Not sure what's up with that. Islands. Bunch of islands. Okay, one random swamp, a blossoming sands. Okay, we get a rugged highlands. So I think we uh, maybe we didn't come across those before. Bloodfill caves. So you can tell right away by the color combos. They're all giving you one life with these, but they enter tapped. Dismal backwater. A couple of those. Tranquil cove. So as you might imagine. Your decks can have up to five colors. Um, typically, you're going to have either mono color, two color, or three color. Four color is pretty rare. Five color is even rarer still. So we've got a tranquil cove there. Unknown shores. We saw that. Okay, is this uh, two swamps? All right. Not sure what's going on. Plains. Bunch of those. Ooh. Okay. Here's some more creatures. We've got a Maraleaf Pixie, Creature Fairy. All right, Acolyte of Affliction, Inspiring Veteran, so another knight there. Wonder Mare, Grumgully the Generous Legendary Creature Goblin Shaman. Yes, I love the goblins. And if you have not seen my goblin collection video, I'll pop a link up in the corner there. Whole album of goblins, goblin deck. We open a pack that could have goblins, so a fun time. That video came out last year. I think people like that. Still Claw, Lance, Devourer of Memory, Staggering Insight, another veteran, another giant. Okay, so we got a bit of repetition there, swamps. And like I said, uh, it's good to have more than one of these cards. All right, so. What can you build here? Um, you can build some goblin decks, some knight decks. You've got lots of legendary enchantment creatures. You've got humans, so a lot of different options. So let's take a look at the deck builder's guide here. I think that is everything for the loose uh, cards there. All right, so the deck builder's guide. Let's crack it open. Okay, so this is designed to give you everything you need to get started building your own magic decks. And we had a look at all of that stuff. Building a deck, the basics, so it tells you about that. What else we got? All right, a bit about the colors and what they typically do. So blue 
is about countering a fair bit, uh, also known as control. Black has a lot of removal, creature destruction, draining life. Red is the color of aggro and haste. Lots of low mana creatures, burn spells, green, dirty big creatures you ramp up to. Um, did we miss the color? Where is white? Did I skip? Oh, I skipped it. Okay, which colors to choose? So there you are. White is about life gain. Lots of small creatures. All right, so we'll skip over that. Building around synergy. So the idea of combos or things that work well together. So we mentioned the night cards. Okay, uh, the mana curve, very important. So you want to be able to cast things when you need them. As the game progresses and you get more mana. Play and refine your deck. So playing the deck is a good way to improve it. A bit of a reference here about what the decks are composed of. And of course, expand your collection by cracking packs. I would recommend when you really get going with deck building, um, you don't just crack packs, you actually look for cards that you may need. So Scryfall is a good resource for that. Uh, Mythic Spoiler as well, so the .com version of each of those. Mythic Spoiler will give you a complete list of cards. Uh, also gatherer.wizards.com is another one. Okay, so what do we have here in M20? We've got a Yoked Ox, Act of Treason, Duress, Inspired Charge, Leafkin Druid, Reckless Airstrike. We've got another Goblin up to Mischief, Octo Prophet, Gorging Vulture, Brightwood Tracker, Goblin Bird Grabber. Yes, grabbing the birds. Vengeful War Chief, Eternal Isolation, Woodland Champion, and I. That'd be funny if we got another Mythic. It is not a Mythic. But it's still a decent card, Field of the Dead. So they reprinted this in Theros Beyond Death as well. And Spatterfield tapped, you can tap it for colorless mana. And whenever it or another land and Spatterfield under your control, if you control seven or more lands with different names, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token. Okay, Tranquil Cove and a soldier token. Final pack. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. For more Magic Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And let me know in the comments section what you think of this product. Have you picked up any deck builders toolkits before? How did you get started playing Magic? I'm very curious. Did you start with Commander or Standard or some other format or maybe the Planeswalker deck? So let me know. Okay, final pack we have Starlit Mantle Hero of the Games. Leonin of the Lost Pride, Lampad of Death's Vigil, Scholar Grave, Grove Dancer, not Grave Dancer, that would be a black card otherwise, Unknown Shores, Memory Drain, Flummox Cyclops, Altar of the Pantheon, Uncommon's Reverent Hoplite, Heroes of the Revel, Heliod's Punishment, and rare is Protean Thaumaturge, Creature Human Wizard 1-1 one, one for 2, with Constellation, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protean Thaumaturge, become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. And a foil, yes, foil cards are a thing, people. There's all sorts of shiny goodness. Flicker of Fate, just a common and a forest. I have to keep checking these. I love the foil versions of these. They look like this, very shiny. All right. And a Satyr. Okay, so there we have it. So I think this is a great start if you want to start building decks. And of course you get some packs to crack to supplement the rest of the cards here. Thanks for watching and have a great day.